round of King Street Kids, y'all. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. I hope everybody's well this week. I have all of the boys and girls watching are doing well too. Yeah, yeah. So I hear we have a pretty big topic to tackle today, Pastor Eric. We do. Both of them are pretty uh, difficult, but we'll start with the Old Testament story, which is what is a prophet? Mm. What is a prophet? But it's, and how do we spell it? It's not like a P R O F I T. It's not a profit like a uh, dividend, like a uh, money you've you've uh, you get to take home. It's P R O P H E T. Profit. What's a profit? It's another kind of messenger. Mm -hmm. A messenger. What is it? a messenger? Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, we get, uh, you know, in the Bible, we see angels who get sent down from heaven and they're messengers from God and then people listen to that. But then prophets are people going, uh, usually going about their business uh, here on earth. And then God comes to them and says, I, I need you to go deliver a message. Yes. And, so prophets uh, do two big things. Mm -hmm. What do they do? They listen. Mm hmm. And then they speak. They say mm -hmm. things. They they listen and they speak. And what do they say? This is the this is the part sometimes people I think get a little uh, confused about. What the, mm -hmm. what what do they do? Some people. What does a prophet do? What does what's a prophet say? Well, they speak God's word to the people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're called to to give those messages, whether we like them or not. There's kind of a, there's a pattern oftentimes to um, a prophecy, which is a message that the prophet gives. Um, there is usually this piece of the prophet letting the people know that they're doing something they shouldn't be doing, that there's some way that they've fallen away from what God wanted them to do. There's that piece, like, what have you done wrong? Here's what it is. And then there's this call to change and change in some way and then there's a piece of if you follow what god says this is what'll happen if you don't follow what god says this is what'll happen these are the consequences for those actions so a lot of times people don't like what the prophet has to say because the prophet is telling them they should stop doing something that they want to keep on doing I mean, we've all experienced that. We want to keep on doing what we're doing. And um, so that's often why prophets get rejected, which is another thing. So prophets listen and mm -hmm. prophets speak. And what do they say? They say the truth. Mm -hmm. They don't always predict the future. It's not that they're saying what might happen, though things may be the case, but that mm -hmm. may be the case, but they're not fortune tellers. They're not uh predicting the future they're telling the truth of today mm -hmm. god's word as, as daniel said and sometimes it's not it's not what we want to hear so there are a lot of i'm sorry who are some i was gonna say who are some famous prophets yeah, are, that's, you know yeah. let's name let's throw out some names here micah mm -hmm. in fact i think he i think that prophet is the sunday's reading yeah yeah Ezekiel, mm -hmm. Isaiah. Yep, you're getting into the big three territory there. Yep, yep. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I like Jonah. He's one of my favorites. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, and you know, that's not one that would come up as necessarily on that top tier as a prophet. Yeah, he's but, a minor but, prophet. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but so there are, and, and that's, that gets, um, more like a to god school talk but one up there are major prophets and minor prophets mm -hmm. and it has to do with the work that they and the coverage they get in the bible so and he really didn't important. want to be a prophet <laughs> okay prophet prophet just keep that that's prophets are very important for our bible story okay the mm -hmm. next <clears throat> new story we have today for the new testament <clears throat> the rich man and lazarus i'm going to read from our spark bible Mm -hmm. parable of the rich man jesus told this story about helping people one day after he ate a huge lunch a rich man said i'm so full i couldn't eat another bite i'm going to take a nap he closed his eyes and went to sleep oh oh, oh the song the sounds of moaning came from outside 
they got louder and louder. Soon the sounds woke up this rich man. Who's making that awful sound, he asked. The rich man looked out the window and saw a man named Lazarus lying on the ground. He had no money or food to eat. Sores covered his whole body. He was sick. Lazarus needed help. Instead of helping, the rich man shouted, be quiet, you old beggar. He went back to his chair and closed his eyes again. Later that day, Lazarus died right outside the rich man's house. When Lazarus died, he went to heaven to be with God. In heaven, he had no sores. He was not sick. All of his problems were gone. The rich man died too. He didn't go to heaven. He was far away from God, but the rich man could see Lazarus in heaven. Help me, the rich man begged Lazarus, but they were too far apart. It was impossible for Lazarus to do anything for him. I'm sorry, I can't reach you. I can't help you, said Lazarus. When he was living, the rich man thought he was too important to help Lazarus. He didn't care what happened to Lazarus. After he died, the rich man realized the mistake he had made. Jesus told the people, I want you to see the people who need help. Open your eyes, use your ears, help everyone you can. All right. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So what's this one about? Yeah. It's about a lot of things. What's it about? Oh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> um, obviously, it's like care for your neighbors. Since the rich man did nothing but watch. What do you think, PR? What, yeah, it's um, what, um, what happened? It, it kind of presents it, it is a prophecy in and of itself, Jesus giving a prophecy through a parable, because he's saying, um, on one hand, this is what happens when we care for our neighbors, this is what happens when we don't care for our neighbors. And a bit of that. One of the things that we take from this is <clears throat> we're supposed to do something to help, mm -hmm. but it doesn't say how we help. Right. And I, I think that would be, it would, that's where sometimes we, ha we disagree um, here about how we can help people. How can we make Lazarus better so that he can live um in a way that god wants him to live in this life mm -hmm. in this story lazarus had to die before he was healed before he was better before he had no sores but what what we have to do what maybe our job is as a church is to figure out how we can make things better for people so that they are always better or restored to some sort of um life that god wants all of us to have that's the question how does the church how do we as christians how do we help people right. and that's a that's an important thing for us to think about mm -hmm. there's one thing about this too this story that there's an urgency to do something because lazarus and the rich man both died one mm -hmm. went to heaven one went someplace else and there's a little there there's a little bit of um, fear in here and Jesus doesn't usually do that. Yeah. Jesus usually doesn't do that when he tells these stories, these parables. Mm -hmm. But there is this um um idea that there are consequences if you do or do not do something. We don't always get that in Jesus' story. So mm -hmm. this is a little different story. I think this is a really tough story. Very yeah. difficult it's not an easy one to preach. It's There's a not. lot to take on in this one whenever it's preached. It's not an easy one to understand as, as a, as a kid or a grown up either, because, um, I think back to, I mean, um, again, we talk about, we mentioned preaching and, and teaching and, and not all stories are easy to preach. Um, and I think that goes back to, um, the prophets too, and, and sort of knowing you're not alone is it's not always easy delivering the message because sometimes we have to say things that aren't <coughs> always, Ooh, bless you. Um, easy to talk about. And, uh, I mean, I know uh, there's been times in, even at church when, when the sermon text is, 
is not easy or something that's been going on in the world that we have to talk about is not easy to talk about. Um, but we're called to talk about it anyway and called to preach on it and teach about it and discuss it anyway, because that's where, that's where our faith takes us. It does. It's part mm -hmm. of the job. Mm -hmm. part oh, of the yeah. job. All right. Well, these are two important stories this week. Um, not, e not necessarily easy ones, but they're important ones. All right. Y'all have a great week. All right. Hello, everybody. Bye.